During Christmas time in Mexico, we have a lot of celebrations. And the most popular dessert you will find is buñuelo. Buñuelos are this tortilla-like crispy fried dough that's topped with sugar and a special sora. They're so delicious, but they're quite unhealthy. So I have prepared a recipe that's healthier, yet it's still full of flavor. And to go with it, I'm preparing ponche, which is Mexico's most popular holiday warm drink. Ponche is so popular all over Mexico that every family has their own recipe. Mine is filled with fruits to create sweetness and other ingredients to bring tartness, all creating just the perfect balance. The most important ingredient in any ponche is tejocotes. Tejocotes are also known as Mexican hawthorn as they come from the hawthorn family of shrubs. You can find them fresh, frozen, and in syrup. I have found that all of them really work in ponche. The second ingredient is guavas, and this you cannot omit them either. This is a fruit that's used all over Latin America and in many different countries of the world. Again, you can find them fresh, frozen, and in syrup. I have found that the ones preserved in syrup worked really well with the ponche because that syrup just intensifies the sweetness in them. Other ingredients for sweetness, I'm using golden delicious apples, sugar cane, raisins, and one of my most favorite ingredients to work with, piloncillo. This is unrefined sugar cane, and you can find it in rounds like this, blocks, sometimes even cones, any of them will work. Ingredients for tartness, tamarind pods, and hibiscus flowers. And the last ingredients I'm using, some delicious Mexican cinnamon, and some cloves. All of them are just gonna come together and create this beautiful balance in this ponche. So let's make this ponche. We're gonna put in all of our ingredients. The guavas. About two cups of tejocotes. About a quarter cup of raisins. About one cup and a half of sugar cane, two golden delicious apples, two tamarind pods, about a quarter of a cup of cinnamon, six cloves, one tablespoon of hibiscus flour, and piloncillo. We're gonna throw it all in and then just water to fill it all up. To prepare the dough for the buñuelos, we're using about a half a cup of flour, a pinch of baking powder, a pinch of cinnamon powder, and just a tad bit of nutmeg. Perfect. So you're gonna mix that all in. And we're gonna add the special ingredient to make them a little bit healthier, which is coconut oil. I have about two tablespoons of that. You're gonna mix that in with your hands and it's gonna get really crumbly, almost like cornmeal. Lastly, I'm adding a pinch of salt. That's a consistency that you want. The last thing I'm using is about two tablespoons of water. And you wanna add a little bit at a time until it starts coming together. So 
So now we're gonna knead this just for about five minutes. And you can put some flour on your board. So now that our dough has rested, we're gonna go ahead and roll these out. So it's really easy to make the little round balls. You just grab your dough and you squeeze it. And then you get these beautiful little round balls. That's it. You're gonna roll them out until they're about three inches in diameter. So you roll them out. Remove this excess flour and see that's how thin you want them. Now we're ready to fry them. We're using about a half a cup of coconut oil. You're gonna fry it on each side for about 30 seconds. Just push it in a little bit on the middle because it tends to bubble up. Flip it. There you go. Now the oil's gone. And lastly, you just, once you finish frying them, you just sprinkle some sugar with cinnamon on both sides. To make the syrup for the buñuelos, we're using a little bit of water. It's about a third of a cup. I'm gonna add in some cinnamon and two cloves. We're gonna put that to boil. And also, we're adding about four tablespoons of piloncillo. And you just wanna mix it in. You're gonna bring that to a boil. So stir it until everything is dissolved. And once it comes to a boil, you're gonna lower your heat. So now that I got a little bit thicker, the last thing you have to do is just add your raw agave syrup. And you add that all the way at the end, and then you turn off your heat. And that's it. So our buñuelos are done, and our ponche is also finished. Everything smells so delicious in here. You can smell all the sweetness and all the flavors of everything. So the last thing we're gonna do before we eat these is to sprinkle some of the delicious syrup we just made. So they're gonna be so delicious. All right, thank you so much everyone. Happy holidays and buen provecho.